This is the first time in many years, possibly as much as a decade or so, that the focal points of capacity development for the different uh, CGIR centers and the CRPs are coming together to discuss issues of collective concern and collective action for capacity development within the CGIR system. It was very important to us to bring the community back together and to think what are the demands of the CRPs, how can we as a community reply and give solutions so that we can actually deliver better on the new CGIR context, the, the whole paradigm shift of moving from research outputs to development outcome will involve many, many things, including capacity development. Uh, the, the ambition of doing agricultural research for development is enormous, and uh, uh, the CGIR researchers very often don't measure the extent of the changes that are needed in our internal capacities to really do. Uh, agricultural research for development. We can all agree on a framework that informs not only the CRPs but also the, 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 the participating centers in a way that we can arrive at a good definition of what capacity means in terms of the, 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 the results that, that are expected of the CGIR. If we're looking at a research cycle, we're looking at 10, 20 years to get through to impact on the ground. Within that period, the world is going to be changing a lot, and we have to be thinking very hard about the sorts of skills, the sorts of tools, the sorts of capabilities that are going to be needed. And those are all capacity questions. My, my advice to, say, to the CG is seek partnerships. They should be beyond scientists. Uh, you should look for people in development, people in media, people in uh, extension services, and, uh, and, and so on. Uh, development needs everybody. We need to get out of this meeting, and I think we are going to do that. Uh, this community of practice uh, uh, committed to work with us to produce uh, a chapter in the SRF management update that actually explains how we are going to do capacity development within the system. And by that we mean the centers with particular priorities, with the CRPs, sometimes those priorities overlap and then what is it that we have to do at the system level, the collective actions that we can undertake. And then being able to articulate this with the next uh, round of uh, CRP proposals. 